Hi everyone, in this video, I want to tell you about this electric scooter, the Ducati Pro 1 Evo, European version. Show you how this Ducati works, and take you for a ride on the Italian roads of Turin. I had been looking for a scooter for my short journeys that could pamper my laziness, something that could walk for me, reducing fatigue to zero. But at the same time, it should be aesthetically pleasing, robust, manageable, powerful, and above all, compliant with the law and obviously all at a reasonable price. Yes, because the laws here in Italy are strict, double brakes, turn signals, etc. and this Ducati satisfies all of them, allowing us to relax and be good citizens. But let's start in order. First of all, the packaging is great, simple and minimal, everything is very well organized and protected. Furthermore, along with the scooter, the charger, maintenance keys, tire inflation extension, and a spare inner tube are provided. It seems that Ducati thought of everything. Once the scooter is unpacked all we have to do is mount the handlebar by fixing it with four screws, inflate the tires, and complete the charge. If you're wondering how long it takes to recharge the battery and how far you can travel on a single charge, I'll tell you right now. It takes 4 to 5 hours to fully charge and the charger, with its green LED, will confirm full charge. As for the autonomy, Ducati claims 25 kilometers. Are they real? Well, obviously this depends on various factors such as weight, road, hills, and pace, but I can tell you that with a good balance of these, 25 kilometers is achievable. This is because this Ducati has a 350 watt electric motor, and I have to say, I was really impressed. Its power is really noticeable. Its acceleration is gritty, making the ride fun and not monotonous. It allows us to easily reach the 20 km per hour limit imposed by the law, to easily pass obstacles, and to even make some quite demanding climbs with little effort. The color display incorporated in the handlebar is very useful and efficient. It has all the important indications like the speedometer, the set speed level, light, and Bluetooth, so you can keep everything in sight while driving. And even under direct sunlight, the display does not lose visibility because all indications remain clear and readable. And through the button below the display, we can turn the scooter on or off, activate or deactivate the light, and with the double button, we can select the three different speed levels. We start with the mapping for pedestrian areas set at 6 km per hour, then we have Eco with a maximum speed of 10 km per hour, then we have Drive for the maximum speed allowed by the new law of 20 km per hour, and finally, we have the Sport mapping that allows you to make use of the maximum speed of 25 km per hour, of course in private places. A little treat is the possibility of unlocking the maximum speed at 30 km per hour. I repeat, of course to be used in private places as this speed is not allowed by law on public roads. And I exempt myself from any responsibility. Also in the handlebar we have the strange acoustic indicator, but it does its dirty work very well. While on the sides we have the arrows, those much requested by the law, protected by rubber for possible impacts, and near the accelerator, we have the button to activate the right or left arrows so that our hands can always stay firmly on the handlebar. At first, it may be uncomfortable, but with a bit of practice, it becomes normal, just like using a car. To be honest, I was a bit skeptical about using them at first, but as I got around in traffic, many times they helped me make drivers aware of my changes of direction. So if this can help increase safety and prevent accidents due to misunderstandings or carelessness, well, it's welcome. To increase its technology, Ducati has implemented a well-made and very useful app. It works like a virtual garage where we can add our vehicles. From here we can see its location and read the total kilometers traveled by the scooter. Furthermore, it gives us the possibility to choose directly from the phone the speed level, turn on or turn off the night light, see in real time the driving speed and something very interesting, we can record our route and start the map as a navigator to move comfortably during trips. In addition, in the settings we can enable or disable various functions such as cruise control, zero start, or engine lock from theft. In short, a well-designed and useful app for various updates and with the possibility of direct chat support. In addition to all this, to be compliant, it must have brakes on both wheels. In fact, on the front it has the electric brake, with Kurs technology, and a disc brake on the rear. Both are activated by a single manual lever on the left handlebar side. 
I have to inform you that the brake power is proportional to speed and is very strong. I am not sure if it's a good or bad thing, but what I suggest is to brake softly because if you squeeze too hard, you might end up falling forward with bad results, but with a bit of practice, you can easily find comfort and the right balance. Moreover, on the back wheel, as per the law, there is a light that makes us visible and our braking noticeable. So, thanks to the front and rear lights, and the turn signals, at night we can feel safer while driving because we have good visibility and at the same time, we are more noticeable to other vehicles. Alright, it's great that we meet the regulations, but have you noticed its design? Well, I was impressed by the attention to detail and the smart use of the Ducati logo. Furthermore, the main colors black and red make for a winning combination that makes it a sporty and pleasing scooter to the eye. But apart from being beautiful, what adds value is the quality of the materials used. In fact, when using it, you can feel its sturdiness, and despite the pressure while driving, you don't experience any creaks or strange vibrations. The high-quality rubber on the handlebar is also great, providing a good grip for added comfort while driving. Furthermore, Ducati used aluminum alloy in the frame construction, making it both robust and light. Thanks to this, it weighs around 12 kilograms, making it easy to transport anywhere we want without too much effort. And with the quick release, we can minimize its size to fit it in the car trunk with ease. In conclusion, how did I find it in use? Would I recommend it to you? If the features I just described have caught your interest, then I think this scooter is for you. I bought it for fun, but I have to say it exceeded my expectations. Not just for its technical features, but also for the feeling and comfort of driving, which is also due to its 8.5-inch air-filled wheels that help a lot with pressure, cushioning the road dips. Of course, there are scooters with more features, but for its cost, I think it offers good value for money and makes a good companion for activities such as commuting, school or city tours, and even makes us look cool riding a Ducati. We all know Ducati for its beautiful and powerful motorcycles, and here I think the engineer who designed this scooter wanted to bring a bit of the sportiness of these Ducatis, and having the scooter with this name with a sporty spirit, well, it excites me a bit. And that's it for this video. If you liked it, please give a free like and don't forget to follow me for future tech updates. See you next time.